So let's consider in a little bit more in depth the idea of a dictionary as an accumulator. And I'm going to use an example that might come up in the technical interview um, I covered in the technical interview lecture. I'm going to go ahead and write a function called uh, Poisson PMF. And this is the uh, this is the function to return the probability of a certain number, let's say a certain number of events occurring in a given amount of time where you have a clear expectation of the number of events that are likely to occur in that time. Um, you know, Poisson distribution, uh, you'll get into it, you'll learn more about it later. Um, so we need a value of lambda and we need a value of k. Lambda here is our expected value, uh, we'll call it an expected value, and k is the value for which we're trying to find the probability. So this is a simple um, mathematical function, and we're just going to return math.e raised to the uh, negative lambda times lambda raised to the k, and that's over the factorial of k. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap these. Notice I'm, I'm doing this math.e thing right here. I'm going to need to import math in order to do that. We'll get into importing more later. And from that, I'm also using this factorial function. And I'll just code up the factorial function really quick. Factorial of some number n is, uh, we'll, we'll just use a simple accumulator here, we'll say, uh, n is 1, no, sorry, uh, the product is 1, and for um, for num in range 1 to n plus 1, we're going to multiply the product by the number, and then let's return the product, and let me just print factorial of 4 to verify that this is working how we would expect it to. 24 makes sense. That's 4 times 3 times 2, right? 12 times 2, 24. So easy enough. I'm not uh, bulletproofing this factorial function. We don't need it that way. Um, I'm just writing it really quick to use in the Poisson PMF. So let's print the probability of uh, getting 10 events when we expect 10 events. So I'm going to set lambda to 10, and I'm going to set k to 10. And we'll just go ahead and, you know, I, I know this value offhand. That's why I chose it. You know, it's just sort of an internal test. Um, you know, if uh, you can imagine that if we expect 10, what's the probability of 20? We're going to have a lower probability over here. And of course we do. You know, or what's the probability of zero events? Let's find out. Uh, it's a tiny, tiny number, right? We're using scientific notation, um, so this is 0 0.000045, etc. Um, so our Poisson PMF is working, but what if we want uh, to hold lambda constant and look across a dictionary of values and um, kind of come away with this uh, larger idea of a, of values of k for a fixed lambda. So why don't we just make a dictionary, and let's call it um, Poisson vowels, and I'll declare it like this. And I'm going to write a function here, so um, get Poisson dist, and let's hold lambda constant, and let's have a low value, let's have a high value, and we've got this accumulator right here, Poisson vowels. That's our accumulator dictionary. So I'm just going to say for, <clears throat> for k in range, um, we'll go from low to high plus 1. We can just say Poisson vowels sub uh, sub k, that's our value of k for that fixed lambda, is going to get the value of the Poisson PMF for the lambda that we've declared above, 
right? And the K. And let's just return we'll return the Poisson vowels. Poisson vowels. And why don't we say for K comma V in um, get Poisson distribution and we'll do 10 and we'll go from 0 to 20. Uh, you, yep, okay, that should do it. And I'm just going to print an F string of this. And if you've seen the te technical interview lectures, I, I do this problem in there really quickly as well. Um, you know, I go into it a in a little more depth. Here I'm just demonstrating that we have a dictionary accumulator called Poisson vowels, and we're returning it, and then we're going to traverse that return and we're going to do this for k, v, in get Poisson distribution for a fixed lambda of 10, and a low k of 0, a high k of 20. And we can see this stack of probabilities for varying values of k. Oh, int object is not iterable. For k, v, in get Poisson dist, let me just, ah, dot items. That is an error I make all the time. So you're traversing a dictionary. You want to pull the key value out, the keys and values out. Uh, you use dot items. So there we go. Um, that is our that is our range of probabilities. So if we expect ten, if our lambda is ten, um, then the probability of getting three events is 0 0.00756. Right? You know, you can you can kind of see. Um, and if you look at this, uh, there's some symmetry here, um, you know, some reasonable symmetry around 10, which makes sense. And, you know, maybe we want to adjust this 10 and say, well, what if our expectation is 2 and we're going from 0 to 20? Well, in that case, we're probably not going to have as clearly symmetrical a Poisson distribution our most probable values are one or two events, and zero is less. And so you can imagine this is going like this and curving down, right? Um, so, you know, that's a, I, I get a little bit more into this in the technical interview, but I just wanted to demonstrate the utility of the dictionary as an accumulator. There are other examples in the lesson, and um, you know this this one's a little bit more in depth. But uh, you know, study it up, get to know Poisson, um, and try this with other functions. You know, try this with um, polynomial functions. Try it with other distributions, PMFs or CDFs or whatever, and you'll find that um, you can gain a very intuitive understanding of the effects of different parameters that are passed into functions if you use a dictionary to uh, display all the results.